Hello everybody, this is Mr. Clifftron, and we're back again with Gears of War. Um, I know you can't actually see me, but, uh, believe it or not, at the end of that last episode, when I said have a good one, I actually waved goodbye. I don't know. <laughs> I, th I thought it was kind of a funny thing that I might, you know, want to share with everybody. Or it's an extremely embarrassing thing that I just said. Um, anyway, so if you don't remember the last thing that we just did is we saw a big giant corpser and we're like oh my god Baird, Baird be a corpser and he's like oh that's what the earthquake was and so we've been waiting to see what happens next basically um and yes there's the crimson omen I really hope I'm getting that right I don't know why for some reason I think I'm not um but either way we'll continue so uh, if I'm right, then something will happen in just a second. Um, once again, I'm, I haven't been... Oh, that's right, new chapter. Okay. Ah, that's that's what I was waiting. That was like... Okay. Yeah, this, this is where it is. I, I forgot. I thought it was up there. I was wrong. It's right here. Heroic boy. You know, I've got to say, you look very beautiful. Um, you look like the most beautiful creatures that I've ever seen. Oh shit! Shit! That's right. That's what I gotta do. So, what you wanna do with it, this is you wanna shoot it in its abdomen. So basically, it'll lift up. Uh, I don't think you can hit it there, but it, when it lifts up its legs, slash stabby thing, shoot it right there. And then, oh, that's right. You shoot it abdomen, and then you shoot it in. So, bam. And then when that happens, ah! When I said ah, 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 just, just about that. Anyway, so you do that, and then you try to. Oh. Wretched! Okay, Don. What? What? The fuck? What the fuck? Where are they? Where are they? Okay, they've got them over there. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's this is actually a little bit more intense than force to concentrate to an extent. I think we're just pissing it off. Uh, and that's right. That's how this is done. And if you can't, if you didn't notice, this I'm pretty sure shrinks. So like obviously it's shrunken some, but uh, yeah, like the back part kind of breaks off uh, each time you get to the next part of the boss fight. So oh shit, shit, shit. Get rid of these fucking wretches. The wretches really are probably the most challenging part of this fight. They're just the most annoying, that's the big problem. Wretches really probably are the most annoying enemies, at least for me. It's wretches and tickers. Shit. How many of these things are there? Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Thank God. Shit. 
Got it. Yes. What? Alright. I'm focusing on you. Damn it. Come on. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. I mean, I can hear the rush yelling shit behind me. What the hell? Damn it, Dom. You're supposed to not die. Exactly what it is. That's the translation, actually, of uh, the ah, corpse's language. Yeah, just in time to kiss my ass. Man, I can't believe we missed this. Cole, you still got the resonator? Boot it, shoot it, and ready to get executed. And the time? 5:15. Sun's coming up soon. Let's move. See now that, like the way that that uh, short clip worked, you know, where it's like it started over there, and or it started looking at. Cole and Baird, and then it kind of panned back and basically just turned into the gameplay. That's what I love about the Gears, uh, Gears 1 and 2. And to an extent, 3. They did the same kind of thing in 3. Um, actually, I really quickly, I want to just go ahead and check out that achievement, just so you guys can see that. Defeat a corpse on hardcore difficulties, broken figures. So yeah. But yeah, so... That's just the thing that I really absolutely love about the Gear series. The whole real-time animation that they do. Uh, it's just... It makes everything so flawless and smooth. and It just looks so good when you actually get into it. And it's so different because a lot of the cutscenes from pretty much every game up to that point hadn't done that. They'd just been like, eh, well, here's a cutscene. And now you're gameplay. Awesome. Juice. Hey, Marcus. How much do you think all that emotion's worth? I don't think I can count that high. So, yeah. This is basically the whole emulsion thing. And this is where you get introduced to the torque bow. Obviously, because it's giving me this whole introductory thing. Um, for the purposes of this, I will use it. Um, just to kind of show it off. Even though, if you are any in any way uh, knowledgeable of the Gears series, the Torque Bow is probably one of the first things that you learn about. Um, it's pretty easy to use, it's sort of difficult, but... Okay, here's a plan. Dom, we're going straight in. Cole, Baird, you two flank right and provide support. Above all, protect that resonator. You got it? Got it. You got it. Yeah, the torque bow is basically like a. If you're you skilled with it, the then it's great. It's the but wind. if you're not so great with it, yeah, right. then the yeah, it, it, it can be pretty bad. Uh, and one reason why I've been talking over all this 
because this is like the worst part of this game for me. I die so many times here. So chances are we'll be seeing this cut or this dialogue again. Next time, I guarantee you, I will let them talk. So. I just heard somebody say "fuck you" outside. Oh shit. But yeah, so the AI in this, especially on like hardcore and insane, are deadly accurate with a torque bow. Um, and if you can see that guy right there has a torque bow, and see, I just got him, so he blew up. So that's what you want to do with the torque bow. Um, that's basically why it is limited ammo. It it can be used as a more accurate boom shot, but the boom shot is like a little bit wider range, and this is more accurate. Um, so it basically offsets it pretty well. Um, let's see. Basically, this is just one of the emulsion pumping platforms. Uh, it's kind of like a gas platform if you don't know about emulsion. But the big issue that I have with this is that there's so many enemies on it. Shit, like this. So, oh god. This is, it really gets hectic. And, uh, if you don't concentrate, then you're in trouble. And that was a dick shot. It must really suck to have your balls blown off. See, and that's the problem, like, I missed right there. And, uh, it was, uh, I mean, it was close, but yeah, I missed. And I do now have six more shots of boom shot. Or, not boom shot, torpo. Alright, let me try to get the headshot. Aw. Oh. oh well. Surprisingly, this is easy. This is very easy. <laughs> Did you see that? He was gonna try to chainsaw me and I just shot him in the face of the turbo. <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, see what I just just did right there, I shot it behind the uh, cover. That's pretty typical of uh, what happens in especially multiplayer games uh, with the torque bow. Um, everybody hides. So, okay. What happens is everybody just kind of shoots behind the cover. And, damn it. Yeah. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for that so you could actually hear the dialogue, but at the same time, it's kind of, yeah. I was like on the last two enemies, but, you know, whatever. It's not too big a deal. I can, I can deal hey, with that. Marcus, we'll, look, how much do you think? So what I'll probably do is uh, this last part of this episode, we'll get through. Uh, yeah, we'll get through the drilling station or the pumping station. I think if we can get through just this really quickly, uh, that'll be a good way to finish this episode off. Alright, so I'm gonna shut up when I get to the top of the hill because it's typically when everything starts. Alright, three. Finally. Two. There it is. Okay, here's a plan. Dom, we're going straight in. Cole, Baird, you two flank right and provide support. Above all, protect that resonator. You got it? Got it. You got it. You hear that? What the hell's that sound? It's just the wind. Yeah, right. Look, when's the last time the wind said hostiles to you? <laughs> Scary face. Uh, those aren't drones. Oh, shit. Looks like they upgraded. They're called Theron Guards. You think they know what we're doing? Well, we're not here to sell cookies. So they know something's up. Let's clear that station. Okay, so... Boom. And, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I'm pretty... 
pretty confident that that uh the first shot that I did with this actually took off the guy's head. Um and I now I'm failing with it technically. If you shoot the uh enemy's head, it will actually do a head like give you a headshot and they will die instantly. So you know you don't have to actually worry about hitting them at all anymore. And uh yeah. So, basically, this can act as not only um, a torpedo, but shit. It can act as a uh, slimer too. Uh, and it also helps that it gives you like a line. Haha, <laughs> he dropped it. I think he actually killed himself there. Nice position. Alright. Oh, let's get this close. Get shit, shit, shit. Yeah, typically, I think the uh, Theron Guards have a shotgun and a torque bow. They definitely have a torque bow. And that guy's a shotgun, that guy's a shotgun, that guy's a shotgun! There he is. Damn it. Uh, take him out, take him out, take him out. Come on. Die, die, die. Yes! There we go. Oh. So, yeah. Um. <sighs> Theron guards are. They're tough. Yeah. Um. Obviously, right now, I'm just kind of getting in. But, yeah, see, so you can tell, like, I don't really care as so much about the, uh, my AI teammates right now. Um, typically, I'll let them either just sit down wherever they are, or maybe if like the other ones will pick them up. That's something that's fine with me. But I don't go out of my way, especially not when I'm doing this to actually go and pick them up. Shit! 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 shit. Uh, 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 well, I don't know why it didn't just pick out my Lancer when I told it to, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here because we're getting up to 18 minutes. So, it's been a nice uh, recording for you. Uh, I hope you have a good day. This has been Mr. Cliff Tron, and uh, see you next time. Bye.